Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com bringing in a time video this week. This week it is a crane fly larva. I've done a crane fly larva in the past and it works great. And uh, this one does too. I just stumbled across this one, thought I really, really liked it. It was really easy to tie and um, it looks great. So I figured I'd share it with you. Um, I'm using Folding Mills, this Nymph Wrap. This stuff is awesome. If you haven't tried this yet, I like this way better than Kylie's Nymph Skin. Um, just a little bit maybe thinner and uh, works a lot nicer. I really like this stuff. Just give it a try. Um, I'm using it for bodies on dry flies for my caddises. I'm using it for a lot of different nymphs. Um, really good stuff. So 100% you need to try this out. Anyways guys, really easy pattern. It's going to be a quick tie. Here you're going to see a picture of the fly and then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you can see this really easy crane fly larva pattern in the vise. Really simple. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Daiichi 1770. This is a size 8. I would tie it anywhere from like an 8 to a 12. Um, I already wrapped the thread on here. I was prepping these already. And there's about 20 or so wraps of .020 lead on there. And just want to make sure you leave enough room for the head and enough room that you can taper off the tail here. Next thing we're going to use is some 140 denier cream thread. Uh, you can use white, cream, whatever. We're just going to wrap that on there and we're going to cover up that lead. I want to lock it in place first. Make sure I get it locked in place. And then we are going to um, trim the butt section off and then create tapers at both ends here. Just create a nice taper there. So Whenever I put my rubber on here in a second, it rolls off the ends of the, the lead there and doesn't jump off. And you want to cover that lead up so it doesn't show through the, the rubber here. We're going to put on in a second. Okay, next thing I'm going to put on is what's going to be the rib on this. And for the rib, I'm just using some Maxima. This is three pound test. Um, just use some light monofilament, whatever you have there. And wrap that on back at the back and tie it all down and then we're going to put the tail on this fly the tail for this fly I'm going to be using just a ring neck pheasant center tail there and I'm going to take about eight or ten strands off of it pull them off and then I want to go oh, like a quarter inch around a quarter inch long I don't want a big long tail don't want it to be unproportionate looking but I want to tie those tips off the back. It's just a hair longer than I wanted. There, like that. Wrap that down and then bend it back over, keeping it right on the center on the top of the fly here. And then lock that down. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, put on a piece of the nymph skin, or the nymph wrap from Folding Mills here. This is the three millimeter and natural, translucent natural. I'm just gonna trim off one corner of it there, just get a nice sharp angle. And we're gonna tie that in, and where I'm gonna tie that in is right, right where that lead ends, and then just wrap it back again to that tail. Now, I'm gonna come in and clean everything up here, and I don't want any of that lead showing through. So, just gonna wrap and wrap and wrap, until I get it all covered up. Mm, that's close. I'll just look around. Yep, got it where I like it there. And once I do, I'm going to come up here to the eye. Okay, now I like to use my rotary vise here. To use my rotary vise, I'm just going to throw a quick half hitch on there. Bring my tool holder up there. And then we're going to wrap this forward with my rotary vise. You don't have to have a rotary vise, it just makes it a lot quicker. So give these nice even wraps. 
space them out and wrap it right up to that eye. Once we get up to the eye, we're going to tie it off. Okay, then we're going to trim that tag off there. And clean the head up just a little bit. Now, we're going to pull these pheasant tail fibers over, and this is going to make the back of this fly. And what I do is I pull it over, and I kind of push it down in the gap there, into that groove of the, of the hook, and wrap it down. And then I'm going to trim the butt sections off. Make a wrap or two to clean that up. There we go. Now we're going to come in with our rib. And this is the uh, probably the most difficult part of this fly. Is not letting it roll around. So I like to take my finger and kind of push it into place where I want it. I don't want any of the materials to wrap around as I as I do this. You could do it on the rotary. It would work with the rotary. But then it's a little harder to control that way. So just wrap that up. Make sure those fibers don't roll around the side. They stay on top where you want them. And this is a really easy, simple fly to tie. Get that up there to the head and we'll tie it off. And then last thing I do, just take a brown Sharpie, color this cream colored thread, and whip finish. And that makes the head on my fly. Just a simple little head. And there we go. That's all that's to this crane fly larva. Simple, simple pattern and a very realistic pattern. So there you go, you see how I keep it all on top there, make a nice rib with it. One little one got out of hand there, you can sometimes pick that back up in there. If not, you can cut it off, but that's not going to bother me. Trout ain't going to pay attention to that. So there you go, great looking fly. Okay guys, keeping it short and sweet today. It's an easy pattern, it catches fish. Um, not that hard to tie easy techniques. Like I always say, fly tying is all about techniques. Add your different techniques up to make difficult flies, but it's a lot of just basic techniques. And this is basic, very, very, very basic techniques today. So um, have fun tying. That's what it's all about. And um, have fun trying to imitate the, the insects that's in your streams around you. These are really heavy in one of the streams in my area. And um, they do quite well. So, and that's one of the first things I'll see hatching here. That's always the sign for me when I start seeing crane flies. The sulfurs are right around the corner. So I get excited when I see crane flies. So have fun tying guys. If you need any of these flies or any material, please go over to our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. You want me to tie anything for you, do custom orders or anything? You can reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. That goes directly to me. So if you have any questions about anything, feel free to reach out. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.